four inches, three or four inches on this weekend. I don't remember <laughs> when. But it was a lot of rain. And everything looks like it's going to grow. I didn't get anything that that got soaky. I'm just finishing a little project. I decided I didn't quite like it. So we'll start class here in a minute. Thank you so much for being here. If you don't know who, what this is, this fun university. That's what it is. It's study hall. It's fun university study hall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. This looks better. This looks better. And we'll go official here in a few minutes with the spoon phones but we haven't spoon phoned yet cherry's here with her wrench there we go that's pretty we made it prettier <laughs> carol company coming fun that sounds good how fun hello lee and mary lynn guys are good friends to be here. Good students. I made this little card for my friend's birthday. Her birthday was a week ago, so she'll be surprised. Plus, I haven't probably even talked to her. <laughs> I'm such a good friend. Um, I probably haven't talked to her five years. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Judy. But, you know, I've known her forever, so... Anyway, the, this is a little belly band, and it slips right off, and it has friend. Not very big friend, because we never see each other, and we don't talk, so we'll just make it kind of a small friend. But it's kind of pretty. It's those metallic watercolors. They make things. Can you see the metallic watercolor in them? Ooh. Ooh. No, you really can't, can you? <laughs> Well, it's there, by golly. It's right around this thing, and I put it right around that happy birthday and around the friend, too. Ish. Anyway, it's pretty. She'll probably call me, and we'll talk. And it'll probably be another five years before I talk again, but maybe, I don't know, we're getting pretty old. Ah, oh, Johnny L. Johnny L? Johnny L? Johnny, Johnny L. That's a pretty name. Both of them. 5K. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good to have you. Good to have you. This is study hall. It's very <laughs> relaxed. Which is good because I've, I've been doing all those darn accounting things all day. I'm a little going to Warrensburg this weekend. You know, I don't I see planes from Warrensburg on the weekends, oftentimes, but I don't even know how far it is from here. Has everybody had a good day? Let's we'll start. One more minute. One more minute. Let, let's do it. This is the hardest part. Pretending I'm waiting for my time to start. Oh, I can warm up my, my spoon phones. Yes, I think they're turned on. All right. <laughs> We're seasoning. I'm well seasoned. Let me clue ya. <laughs> I'm counting down, getting closer to being able to cash in those IRAs. <laughs> I mean, it's getting, getting real. Getting real. About 60 miles. What are you going to do in Warrensburg? I mean, Warrensburg isn't like one of those places you just end up going. Your first fun university. Well, I'm, Roberta, you had your first uh, craft roulette the other night, didn't you? What'd you think? It was. A, I thought it was a fun show. Um, Bitty Penny brought a lot of fun. She was cute. This week's um, guest, Ashley Young, is just as sweet as a piece of candy. She could 
she could be a Werther's original. She's so sweet. Super, super nice. Grandson graduation. Oh, very exciting. That's nice. I'm glad you're going to get to do that. <laughs> In the mandatory withdrawal group. I'm having a, a head shift here because we've been, Fun University's been private for two years now. I'm here. And you loved it. Oh, and me. Well, there's a little heart back to you. Yep, she was fun. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll do the intro and we'll get this started. I, we're not going to do anything too land shaking, but I do have some thoughts on some things. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes, it's true. Okay, let me see all this stuff. Intro. There it is. I'm going to get this a little closer. They give me the buttons on Fun You. <laughs> it's scary. I will not take down the internet. Net. Thanks for being here. Good to chat. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mary Gunn. Welcome to Fun University. Hello, I'm Mary Gunn. I'm Mary Gunn Fun, founder of head and head professor of Fun University, the once private school and now public school right here on our YouTube channel. Oh, it's already morning in Australia. Good to know, Karen. I always feel better when I talk to somebody in Australia that the tomorrow is going to indeed come. This is Fun University, the first month that we've been on our new channel. And, oh, and you're awake, Christina. <laughs> Bless your heart. We have been a private school for two years, and now we um, are public and because I recently did my taxes, I remember why we went public. Um, this is study hall, and it's very casual. So I don't. I have some ideas on what we're gonna do, but study hall is uh, part of a rabbit hall. We we have our classes right here at Rabbit Trail Hall. I'm telling you, I don't know where I may go down Bunny Trail Bunny Trail Hall. Um, it may go here or there. But if you do like card making and paper crafting. Do stick around and see what you think. Um, we do have a nice group in the in the student student section, and we appreciate every each and every one of them. If you have not subscribed to Fun University's YouTube channel, we hope you will and hit notification when we have classes twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. You'll be ready. Tonight's class, let me see, what did I write? We're going to talk about stamping on colored cardstock and pattern paper. So it, it'll, it won't, it'll just be kind of a fun little lesson. It's not, it's not going to be anything too earth shaking, but it, I think maybe you'll pick up a couple things. We're going to talk about Father's Day card themes because I'm, I, I, I'm perplexed. I'm flummoxed. I'm absolutely have a conundrum of what I'm seeing online. Um, we do have some cards from last week that we can go over. Fun University is one of my three shows. We also have Craft Roulette, which is on Friday nights, and some of you have met me through there. That is another YouTube channel. It is Craft Roulette, our YouTube.com slash Craft Roulette. We are there every Friday night, 6.30 Central Time, and we have a game show where we paper craft and do some paper improvisation. It's a heck of a lot of fun. And we would love to have you join us there, too. Um, what else do I need to say? We are community-sponsored. We do, you notice, we this channel does not qualify for ads yet, but we don't want to. The other one does, and we don't want ads. So we want to be community-funded. And um, so look at our Patreon little page there, because we do have some pretty cool benefits. And some of those benefits you're going to even like more after we announce one little thing that's going to be coming down the pike. Um, but we do have some beside, behind the scenes footage, and we have extra cards. There's a big gallery of what I do here, and um, anyway, it's all listed out there. But do consider becoming a patron. There's lots of different levels. To chat, you need to be logged into your YouTube account with the live, I think, chat live button at the top. I'm not quite sure what. And um, please share with your character fans. Give us a thumbs up if you think we deserve it. And subscribe. And even have your husband, your dog, or whoever else has an 
YouTube account to um, help us out there. Would like to thank Sherry Bradley for being here as a moderator for the the group. Um, Sherry's job is just to make sure there's no nobody comes in, which I don't want to anticipate. But you know, there's some weird spam going around here, so we just she's going to keep an eye out for that. And also, if you have any questions and I miss it, she will be there to help you out. All right, let's go down to paper and we'll just start out. Thanks for the being here. And oh, chewing gum at the ready. Oh my gosh, you're not going to pop it, are you? It's not the popping so much. <laughs> it's not the popping. It's the mushy th sound. Woo! Anyway, eh, that's the way it goes. That's what I have start for tonight. Here's my little study hall basket. Last week we had fun with, where is that little stamp set? It's kind of a... You can go back and watch it, but at the same time, it was such a fun little hour together, I thought. Maybe I was the only one, but I thought it was kind of fun, and maybe I put it away. It was a barrel cactus uh, stamp, and I ended up making turbans, an olive per Rachel Castle, who I see is in the student group tonight. We made tulips, pretty tulips. That was another thing. We made, they had, it had flower pots. And so I turned it over and we made um, Audrey Be Hepburn's family. And then this was the study hall from the week before. So if you are interested in knowing how those were made, you can binge a little bit and that will be fine too. Anyway, that's what we've done. That's the kind of thing we do. We just don't really have too much of a plan and we just kind of roll with it on Tuesday nights, because, hey, it's Tuesday. You'll stop chewing, Karen Goddard, and put it under the desk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this could... <laughs> You're too fun. So today, I saw a graphic, and it was... It, it wasn't this, but it was a green bowl, and it had rice. It was a it was a graphic talking about cooking rice, and it was on yellow paper, but you could see the green or the yellow showing through the green. And I thought, that's kind of a pretty look. I think I'm going to have some, I want to have some fun with that. So I just went to my small paper stash. And this is where I now keep, I'm not saying I'm going to keep this forever here, but this is where I keep my small paper um, scraps, but because they're handy, right? And I have them labeled as red, very appropriately. I, I'm a simple person. I don't want to be too confused. This one is more like the grays and some browns, which I probably won't do tonight. A yellow tin or bin, and there's my little Y for yellow, and blue-green. So I, I try not to use company names because I don't want, because I know people have different companies and they're in their inks and their papers and things, so I try to use color wheel names like blue green, blue violet, red violet, red red tints, red shades, red all that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's just help more helpful for since we're such a big group uh, and there's so many products. So that's what that's what I'm, my thinking is here. So you saw what this would look like on some yellow with some solid stamps. So let's see what, let's find, I have a little outline stamp here too. Let's see what it would, find a piece of yellow and see what that looks like. <laughs> you guys are being silly. <laughs> That's okay with me. All right. We'll block this guy up. Oh, he does not, he's not a perfect fit. You stinker. Absolutely a, a renegade. Have to go a little bigger. Okay. All right. So let's find a piece of yellow pattern paper without dog fur. That's just yellow cardstock. I'm not too. I want pattern paper. Do I ha not have any in here? Well, leave it to me. There's. That's not going to be. This is textured. Well, we may not do yellow for that. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, let's see. Let's find out about some red. 
Last week on Cards Lab, yep, that would probably work. Last week on Card Lab, we talked about foreground and background and how to if you want a card that pops, you can't have the same amount of um, noise. So what I'm going to be doing, this is a fairly quiet little stamp because it's kind of a delicate pattern and it's not a big bulky solid stamp and so it's going to need something in the background that doesn't, isn't going to be as demanding as something like this because it would get lost. So that little white background check would be lovely. Yep, yep, yep. This one's kind of pretty and it's already matted. That might be pretty and we might add some white to that one and that might work. <coughs> ah, sorry. And then we'll get to blue in just a minute. Let's do these two. Let's make a couple of tags and we'll do this guy first. I think, I think, since it's pattern paper and not just white paper, that I can get another piece really fast. I may resort, instead of using this silly thing, let's go ahead and use this. And we'll put, we'll use, I'm going to put this mostly so that I have the white right there. Ooh, that's a good idea, Mary. Kiss your, kiss on my brain. This is this is a solvent based per permanent ink and it's supposed to be okay with different media. I'm, I don't have my black ink thing together, I gotta tell you. I just don't. Not enough. Not enough, honey. You guys are funny. Gail's here from Australia too. Nice. Welcome, welcome. Susan Smurf, you're here? Good. Alrighty. So we've got that little, see how that's going. Now, what are we going to do with that? I'm not quite so sure yet, but let me get a little scratch paper here so I can stick. I don't have to clean that thing right off. Here's an old envelope. We'll use it. Off you go. Now this stamp set has some little um, fill-ins, so to speak. Little fill-ins. So let's find out how they're going to fill in best. It looks like this is the this is the way to do it. Now, speaking of foreground and background, if I use a pink on this, it's going to be a little it's just going to be a little soft, I think. So I think it needs a little bit of punch. So we're going to go bright red. Even though my bright red is pathetic because it needs re-inked. But I do have a less pathetic... What the heck? There it is. A less pathetic solution here, too. This is not supposed to be lined up real well, so that's a good thing. There we go. See how that pops up better? Can you imagine it? How it would be if it were... I'm going to do it another one. If it were pink, it would just be eaten up. Eaten alive! Just like mosquitoes in the jungle eating the poor, poor people. I have no idea if that's true. But it's how I imagine it. See? That's lovely. That Ooh, that really is kind of pretty. Let's get a little green, a little green marker here. And I, what shall we do? What shall we do? <laughs> now this one. Here's my thinking on here. Th I overthink. You know, you're in the right place if you need somebody else to uh, overthink for you. This is, if I do too dark on the leaves, uh, it too will draw away from 
the focal point of these guys. Even though the leaves are part of the focal point, I want to give those pretty flowers all the help they can get. Um, so I'm not going to go too dark or too bold. Let's see what this is like first. What, if we cut this into a tag, I can test it up here. Because I'm going to cut it off. I think it'll be fine. It's, I wanted a grayer green, but I don't seem to have one. So I'm just going to go out from here. You know, one of the favorite colors, especially in spring or Christmas or anything, I guess. Um, one of the favorite leaf coloring combo is this light, pretty green. Oh, it looks darker in the picture. Um, is this light, pretty green and then using more of a darker clover color with it. So you have a bright, a bright yellow green. And we will, we will, because we are crafters, we will grab one that's a little darker. That's not dark enough. Well, yeah, it is. Let's just do with that and then just come right here at the base of these. This is, and I'm flicking it. Girls flicking at those leaves. There's not going to be an aphid left on them. There we go. Does it get you, baby? Nope. Okay. That's going to be just fine. This is kind of a cute little... And here's another little... I didn't quite get it. But if you do have some diagonal lines and you have some lines in your stamps, here's an overthinking thing. I like to line those up at least parallel to each other instead of being off off grid there. You got to cut out of class. <laughs> All right, got some. Oh, well, good for you. Yes, Wink Estella on the flowers. You are on to me, Mary Lynn. You are on to me because I have red Wink of Stella. But I've got these darn strays. Okay, they're going to get a little trim. Okay, because I don't want that wing of Stella all over. And I'm going to follow the pattern of the blotchy, the blobby stamp, too. I'm not going to fill it in. I like the open, the open area. Open air. It's a prairie flower. See how that's just popping? Ooh, that looks, that looks like a dynamite. Now this guy, I'll go ahead and trim his little corner, going parallel to this guy. I am going to stick just a wee touch of adhesive right there. I will overthink this too and then I will bring this over here and I don't have to squeeze it so tight then if I have that already stuck down. Out you go. Well that's just lovely. Okay and so then I think what we want to do is have a bit of a buffer. If I can find, we'll just make a little old card out of it but Mighty, mighty cheerful. I think I might do a, just a little bit of a frame around it with white and then mat it in black. I think we'll have something kind of pretty. Let's see if I have a better piece of white. I don't want to cut a whole piece. It's so again my ways. Okie doke. I'm going to put it right here in case that wink of Stella is still wet. And then it won't I'm going to put it right on top of it. And I don't have to worry about spreading the joy of glitter. We're good. Okay, so when I'm doing one of these with this little guy, and I do rather like making these little thin mats with this more than my biggie, um, I like to put it right to the edge of the, the pattern paper is going right to the edge of this little finger guard and then I'm going to back it into, just back it back into the, whatever, table of that and then I don't have to worry. There is something that's sticking on here and it just goes, <coughs> just, 
if I have any questions. That's a good way to do it if you have any questions. I didn't do it quite great. I think I'll just do this on parallel. Because I can do it with one giant swoop. There you go. Look at there, look at there. That's kind of pretty on just white on white, too. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of pretty, too. But I think, let's try it, you know. We don't have to get... We don't have to uh, be married to it yet. Have not exchanged vows. This looks like a mighty fine piece of black paper. Well, not too shabby, girl. But also, just leave that like that, top to bottom. Ooh, la la. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do that. Just bring... Oh, look! There's some red! <laughs> I got to decorate it. Sir, I better wipe it off, Sherry. I miss your brooms. There we go. Now, if I do that over here, then I can cover up the red. How far can do I have to go in? If I go in the middle? I could do in the middle. I wasn't going to go in the middle, but I could, and then I could put a little sentiment right there, and that would be kind of cute. little voink right there at the top. Voink. I don't think we need anything else. I think we're going to have something kind of cute pretty fast. And it's going to make sense. Oop, that didn't make sense. So I will cut it like that. Oh, I'm so good at not cutting straight, not adding straight. But there's remedies for everything. Yep, yep, yep. I happen to have cleaned my black drawer, my black accoutrement drawer, just the other day. Nope. I didn't. I didn't fix everything, but I did clean it out. I think I'll just <clears throat> cut this little guy off. Slip the, so fold it in half roughly, slip it through, feed it through that little loop, and pull it tight, or not so tight, whichever is your fancy. Wouldn't that be a pretty card to get? I think it would. I think I would be happy. I could do this, but I, I have trouble with angles. I just do. I'm just so tetrasized. Okay, and so there's that. Let's see what we can put on the sentimenta. Ooh, big hug me. I don't think so. There's a bit. Thank you. With some white, but we might fix that. Or we can put it here. And we can bring this down a little bit. Let's just put him right here. <laughs> oh. Don't glue on your project. <laughs> when will I learn? There we go. 
go. And then one more little thing. Shall I? Shall I not? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. But your microphone's supposed to just like up like we used to try to do it. Okay. Is it rubbing? It's just not right. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. You like the study hall? Yeah, it's pretty relaxed, isn't it? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. It's just relaxed. <laughs> That's all I can say, really. And then we'll just add a little bit of this. I'm not going to make this real thick, so hopefully it will dry in the next decade. That gives it quite a bit of pop, too. And look how crooked it is. Isn't that lovely? Just don't look at it too closely. Okay, so we'll let him dry. We'll put him off to the side. So that was just stamping on some pattern paper, which makes for a quick background. Okie doke, what I do with this guy? I did this with this guy. Now this is a dark background pattern paper. Do you see it? It's real pretty and it's got a die cut and it looks like it's already been added to something else. So this will not work in black because it will not show up. I do not believe. So we're going to do make why don't we do this in, oh gosh, we could do, could we do a gold, good look, polish, let's do a little paper powdering, powder our nose, there we go, <clears throat> I don't know, or white, do we want white, we can do white, it's just a scrap, we can figure this out, I didn't clean it, I know I'm going to get black on here, it's a, it's a bloody mess already. I hope that's not a bad thing to say. Okay. <laughs> Clip on mics, yep. Can't live without them, can't live with them. I can see this is all, all nicely done, so we'll go ahead and grab that. And I'll clean it this time. I'll be a good Girl Scout. Would that be pretty in gold? It really would be pretty in gold. Let's try it. Before we go too far. I think it will be very elegant. You may even come back and add some gold edges. That's not the stickiest embossing powder in the that I have, but we'll just roll with it. Now, here is one uh, one thing that I highly suggest doing. This is my heating pad, my little embossing pad. It is a piece of cardboard with aluminum foil on it, but I have made a new and improved version. Yes, you thought it couldn't be done, but oh dear, dear, dear girlfriend and crafter and craftettes. There is another way to do it. I have taped onto the back a piece of silicon that I had cut up. I had a big silicon mat. I never used the big, the big honker. I got so tired of wrestling it to get it to lay flat. I cut it into pieces, and um, then I thought, oh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tape it onto the back of my heating thing so it's all in one place, and I am loving it. Now this is masking tape. I'm sure it will go away. I'm sure it will loosen in time and uh, <laughs> I won't be out much. I do have some furnace tape that I may add to the edges. I just haven't quite done it yet. The whole idea with this is you can heat from behind on the aluminum foil as your heat gun gets warm. And then you inadvertently heat from the back and from the front, too. So, without burning your little fingers, because that's a terrible, terrible shame when that happens. 
There it goes. Isn't that pretty? It's still pretty. It's still just a pretty thing that it does. Well, I'm glad I chose that. Alright, so it's just a piece of cardboard. Nothing fancy. And then I put some silicone on the back. This is just a wooden, a wooden safety pin or a clothespin. You could use a one that is a wired one too. It's just the whole idea is that you can use it as a handle or you have enough space that you can hold it without burning your little tootsies or your little botchies as my grandmother would have said. So that is, you gotta do it. You gotta, gotta, gotta do it for your own self. Okay, let's get another card. Looks it's all pretty. I don't know what to do with it though. Dog <laughs> got it. Um, that would be pretty with some. I wonder if that would be pretty with some gray background. Let's see what gray would look like. Or some brown. We've got a little bit of both, so it's not too hard to know. We could do the same kind of thing as this one. With this guy, ooh, yes, ooh, ah, oh. and then we could, I don't, we're not going to make a tag out of it because it's on a die cut. So, that's out of commission. How about some cream colored cardstock? Say that ten times. Fast. Another thing on, you can, if you have any picture my life cards or project life cards or those kind of pocket things, and you are haven't <laughs> figured out how to use them yet, and have because you bought twenty four, and you um, that is something else you can pull out and stamp on using the same format and same ideas. Nothing too. If it's real loud, you got to go be careful with your choice. If it's not real loud, you might want to try it. Let's see. Do a couple mats there. How about some? Hmm, maybe some gold around it. Maybe, maybe, baby. Wonder what would happen. I've never tried this before. How? Wonder what it would be like if I had a pencil when I wanted it. That's a concept, but I don't. I don't really have that concept. Okay, so in that, in that. Way, we will just pull out the embossing pen and see how it goes. Broad, we'll try medium. This is an embossing pen. I'm going to flip it over because it will surely get some ink on it. We'll just make our own little tiny little interesting wonder if it would be ooh, wonder if it would be better if it were a little broader it doesn't have to be straight it could be actually pretty interesting if it's not terribly
I must have hit it with my elbow. You did. Well, aren't I just the most... been off for like, tell them. My microphone, I hit it with my elbow and I turned it off. I'm... <laughs> I know, it's a good thing I'm not expecting much from, from my abilities here tonight. Study all is relaxed. Bloopers included. But Lee Kendall, the um, idea on black may be the, it may be perfect. Because that, that red is pretty with black. I kind of like this frame, though. That's kind of a groovy little, a groovy little aside right there. You know, once you get this, when this is still super hot, it can still stay a little fluid. So you should hang. Don't don't get it. Don't be after it right away. Just let it chill. Give it a little chill time. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. I could have done that with a pin around the edge of this, too, and that would have been pretty, too. Okie doke. Let's see. We'll go to the edge and back it up. Go to the edge. Right along that little finger catcher. Back it onto the table again, the cutter table. My goodness, my, if, if my tomatoes don't like water, we're in trouble, but I think they do. And then maybe some, <laughs> I don't know how, if you can see how that works, but that's, see, I just outlined it in the, in the embossing pen. I like it. I like it plenty good. We may not end up adding any color to the leaves at all. Maybe just some clear shimmer. But I want some, some kind of white. What is, the, what is this? I don't know. Let's use it. And that will make it have... Ooh, very elegant. Ooh, maybe I could send this to my Aunt Diane. She's very elegant. And I haven't written to her in a while. Might be time to cheer her mailbox. Go to the edge of the finger slicer or finger protector and back it up on the table. There we go. Five and a half. Let's just do five and a half. We'll make it the same kind of card as the other one. And you're right, black would be really very, very stunning. Let's look at, okay, for Lee. Lee, my buddy. I am going to do it for you, girl. One for Lee. Gotta find a new piece of black paper. Oh, there's that thunder. It almost looks too elegant for me. <laughs> it's like the brown made it less elegant. So, um, in the to me, my feelings of it about it. Uh, so I think the black may be more more elegant and thus more formal feeling. And I'm not sure if I want it to be so formal feeling as I want it, but it is gorgeous. But I think it has a really strong formal feeling there. And the brown, this is brown craft, and there's nothing more humble than a brown craft piece of paper. So I think I'm going to go with that because I kind of like the um, elegance with the bringing it down to earth kind of thing there. You, am I overthinking it enough? <laughs> yes, Eunice. Eunice turned off my microphone. But you are so right. That is gorgeous. I wonder if we could do both and have just a little black edge. It's going to have so many 
layers. That would just be enough. Maybe that's enough. A thin black frame. Yep, yep. That's what I'm thinking, Roberta. We are on the same wavelength. We'll make everybody happy. That's never going to happen, but be nice to think of that. Okay, bring it to the edge and back it up. That's kind of pretty too with that little overhang, but nope. There we go. Well, ladies, we're getting something cute made tonight, I think. And we'll make this one into a card and we'll, we'll call it a night. We won't get to the blue one, I don't think. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Now, um, on the Fun University Lounge Facebook page, if you're not there, I hope you will join it. Do answer the questions and you'll be automatically added. If I know your name, you'll be automatically added too, but not right away. Um, yes, that's very lovely. We do have a spot that Sherry Bradley, our moderator tonight, takes care of for us, bless her heart, um, for homework where you can take an idea that you learn in one of the classes, such as this, and make your own version of a card and put it in as homework. Then we get to see your inter how, you, how you interpret this card and make it your own, which is a very fun thing to do, and we, we love seeing that. There's some really cool things in there right now, I can tell you that right now. Hello, Sharon, did you get out of your swimsuit? <laughs> I hope so. Thinking of you right here, that's our, that's our go-to. I think that's going to be the, that's going to be the uh, massage of the night. You know I'm done with you, so let's wash your little face. Put you back to bed. And we will add this to a little scrap of paper. Well, this is fun. I, I, I like, I like this little lesson. I didn't know for sure if I was. I never know. But a Thursday night, we will be doing fancy fold gate folds. We're not going to just do regular gate folds, but we'll step it up a bit and add some fanciness to them. Because May has all been about gate fold cards on Fun University Cards Lab. So bring your friends to class. Show and tell your friends. Yeah, the homework lounge is just kind of like the show and tell. Which is a fun thing to do. Come on. And do check it there because everybody has their own. It's kind of like a craft roulette in that everybody has their own interpretation of things. And it's so cool to see. So cool to see. Okay, here we go. This has bad hair too. But we'll put some Wink of Stella. Stella of Winka. Hopefully it will dry on this. You know, come to think of it, it may not dry on this pattern paper. It's not looking like it will. <laughs> okay, well, let's try one more thing because it does not look like it's going to dry. So, it looks good, but it looks sketchy. So we're going to go ahead and let's do the powder its nose again. Since we're at this point in the card, and we'll just add the embossing pen. And we'll put clear embossing. On these little posies. And that will make them stand out quite lovely. Because they'll be clear and shiny. 
I'm excited. I want to get this one done. <laughs> come on, come on, let's get after it. Oops, I can see now where I missed. This pen goes on with a pink cast. So you can't use it for, I don't know what other ones are like, but you can't use it for clear embossing on without something, some color underneath it. Because it will come back, it'll end up being pink. And then I'll get a Facebook message and I'll say, it didn't turn out right. <laughs> so don't do that. Ooh, can you see it now? Off you go. I'll give you just a quick little, quick little screw of the lid so I don't knock the whole darn thing over because I'm real talented that way. I know. You probably thought I was real graceful. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Yes, we should have. Maybe they. Maybe those people don't like us. That's okay. There we go. This is going to be just lovely. I will send it to my Aunt Diane. I do need to write to her. Can you see the clear melting? So, ooh, so we did a little open, open stamp, did it on some pattern paper that was light. So we dolled it up a little more so that it maintained its focal point power. Did this one on a pattern paper, gave it some extra little love and made it gold embossed, and then ended up doing some clear embossing on the inside to make that even prettier. Yeah. And then, oh, I thought this was kind of a cool thing. Did you guys like this one? Yeah. Did you like the framing, the gold? I think that turned out kind of cool. Okay, then we've got this one that I made this afternoon. This was the original inspiration. Let me get a card base. Base, let's do the same basic kind of uh, design there. I wonder what I could use. What, 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 what? I'm a thinking instead of paper, I think I might do some blending. Hmm. Or maybe a stenciling. A stenciling I shall go. Let's see. Let's try, let's try a combination. Okay, we'll just we'll just sit here and look pretty. No, I don't want to have you sit there and look pretty. You're not quite ready to sit there and look pretty. Okay, I'm going to get... Let's go ahead and just put it in a half an inch. Using that grid and some masking tape that I used on my pants to get rid of some extra extra sticky and if it's on these yoga pants there's going to be cat fur and dog fur okay this one since it's a five and a half is not going to be perfect see how we look up here see how we look down here i think we're going to be fine i'm so used to not having straight lines and it's going to be okay. And then, you know, instead of this one, I want to use dots. I think the little polka dots would be pretty. If I have a stencil that will work. I don't have that many. So, I should be able to do something. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Hi, Jingo. We'll get see if we can line these things up so they're about the same distance. 
give you a little security. Your security blanket. Well, how's that going to look? It's hard to imagine. I think I'm going to do it in a light gray and we'll start with that. Just so it has something back there. I don't like this gray. Just so it has something back there that's not quite so. Oh, you were in a hurry and you just didn't feel like finishing this. <laughs> so, so you just left it. You just left it. Now I know we're not going to have anything here. So I'm going to start in the middle and work out. So I don't have to worry about the hard edge there. Or the hard spot. This would be a great shower that we're getting if we hadn't gotten four inches of rain the other day, but uh, I'm not in charge. It really is lovely though, and it's sunny. That's nice. <laughs> because this, it's almost sunset and the sun's going down. Oh, big circle now. Isn't that something? It never looks like there's much ink and it always surprises me and it happened again. You'd think. You know, it's kind of kind of goofy, but I think we're going to go with it. Pull it off gently to the side so you don't rip your paper. That's nobody's friend when that happens. There we go. I'm just going to put them over here on my desk and I will wipe them off right now so I'll have them for the next time. And they won't have any gray to surprise me. Here we go. <laughs> This, um, this, it's a stencil, Sharon, and it was a stencil that I got, I got like eight of them on Amazon. And they're not plastic, they're chipboard. And they're great. I don't feel like I'm going to ruin them or anything. They're just great. And there's a whole bunch of them, real great shapes. Great sculpt. Okay, so now we've got these little guys. Hmm... Hmm, this isn't very, it's not feeling very complete here. Oh, one thing I did do on this, it was kind of flat, and so I put a little gel pen line there, and it really helped. It was a surprising small little piece of joy that it brought. Uh, <laughs> okay, Nuvo Drops, you're not going to get, you're not going to eat my lunch today. I'm going to put you right here. I'm going to make you so small. Use a medium stylus. And you just kind of snuggle them all together so they're kind of friends. There. Now, if I don't touch it between now and dry time, we may have a chance of having something work. But there's always a chance that it won't. Living risky. Living risky. Such a risky person. Okay, so I want, I want the little thing up here not to be too bossy, but I don't want it to completely be wallflower either. So I'm going to use some embroidery floss and give it a bad hair day moment so that it has enough up here to go oh something's happening up there but not so much up there it goes oh look it has some fancy string I don't even think I noticed the rest of the card always seeking balance <laughs> always seeking nirvana in my cards there we go I think that's probably going to be just fine. It's, it does have a lot of space here, but yeah, that's 
poor planning on the SIM card maker's part. So there you go. Three different ways. Gosh, that was fun. Three different ways to um, use pattern paper and stamps. Did it with some solid stamps so that you could see the pretty, the pretty yellow behind. Did it on um, some outline stamps using a real light color or a real light pattern in the background. Did a outline stamp with a with a more demanding pattern in the background. So we had to adjust our thinking about it or overthinking. Uh, you know, that would be kind of pretty with some little jizzy things there too. Let's go ahead. I'm feeling very brave. It's the end of the night. There is a fine line between bravery and foolishness, and I may be crossing it right before your eyes, but I'm going to cross it anyway. Cross it, I shall. Off you go. This just doesn't, this needs one more little thing, I think. <laughs> okay, two more. Little ones. Little baby dots. There we go. Ooh, now that did that did help. I gotta admit it. That did help. You need some too? Okay. Let's see. We'll put yours. We're gonna put yours pretty oh. Uh, oh I think I did. I think I just did it. We'll make them real little. Just little. Oh, blast it. You know, I didn't, it didn't hurt it at all. I think it may have helped. Oh, isn't that just, it's, it's, it's a little low, but you know, that's just how poor planning goes. <laughs> It's alrighty. It's alrighty. So that's what. That's it. That's all we're gonna do tonight. Um, in closing, I hope you could try some. Get some little, little tiny scraps of pattern paper out. Get some stamps. You can try solids. You can try outlines. Just think it through on how much you're going to have to think foreground, background. If you are unfamiliar with these kind of terms, you can watch last week's Cards Plus Lab right here on youtubecom slash what is this? Fun University. And um, then you can try try your hand at it too. It's just a, another thing to think about when you're designing a pretty card. Um, for homework, again, you can go to the facebook.com slash fun university lounge and there's a wonderful place in under the media under albums May 2021 for any kind of card that you have been inspired to, to try some ideas, either the design, the style, the anything I we talked about. So let's just see what you come. Oh, Christina, you stayed awake. Bless your heart. I am so worried about your sleep and, and how I'm affecting it. <laughs> but I guess you do okay. Oh, there are so many different kinds of Nuvo drops. Sharon, there is a lot, there's a love-hate relationship with them because sometimes they have trouble drying. So, um, you do need to be aware that they stay wet. So, that's that. Yes, and, oh, Sue's here. Hi there, Sue. I didn't see you sneak in. Yes, kiss your brain, too. For, um, so, let's see. Back to this. <laughs> I, I'm safe with the dots or the buttons. I was not safe with my microphone. It's always something. Okay, so Thursday we'll see you for Cards Plus Lab. We're going to be doing some fancy schmancy gatefolds. And then if you don't like fancy schmancy gatefolds, well, probably there's something, some rerun on Netflix. Um, <laughs> good. Yay. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yep, the lounge. And then Friday we have the lovely Dr. Ashley Young joining us um, on Craft Roulette. 
I'll have to use big words. She's a doctor. She has her PhD. So let's do a quick shout out to those wonderful people that we get to call patrons. We have some big funders. Rachel Castle, who's here tonight? Janet Flanagan and Kim W. Thank you so much. There's some good news coming your way, by the way. Fun supporters, we've got Card Monkey Jarvis, Vicki Ruta, Kim Galvin, Brenda Gentry, Judy G, I saw you, thank you. Sherry Bradley, thank you. Sherry Pemberton, thank you all. And we have some wonderful fun friends. Patty Beck, Susan Smurf Murphy, I see you, girlfriend. Leslie Herman and Heather Huang. We do thank you guys so much for being a part of um, what we do. We, Like I said, we don't have, we're not associated with, maybe I said this, I say it all the time, I think I say it in my sleep. We aren't associated with any company. We don't sell anything. We're not covertly at doing advertisements um we are just out here trying to work on ideas and inspiration for you maybe every once in a while touching base on something that i've never thought of or maybe you haven't either so um go out there have some fun it's time for the big kiss on the nog because you need a little just give yourself a little encouragement and, and cut your reins loose and let yourself have some fun creatively you know give yourself some reins I, nobody wants your mouth being pulled like a horse Ooh, that's bad and one for you because i really appreciate you guys thanks for being fun tonight i'm gonna go back and read these and we will see you probably thursday night i hope all right tell your friends bring your friends and we'll go to school again bye bye <laughs>